Three ways to motivate students in the classroom. I believe the motivation of students is the most important way to get the best out of a student. It has always been an easy task, but most teachers don't take advantage of this because they do not know how to motivate, they aren't aware of its importance, and some teachers believe it takes so much time. There are two types of motivation. The extrinsic motivation which is caused by an external factor, like the fear of failure, materialistic rewards and the reputation of the student. We also have intrinsic motivation which comes from within the student, like the love of knowledge, the enjoyment of the learning process and inner satisfaction. While extrinsic motivation is temporary, intrinsic motivation is long-lasting and the goal of every teacher is to get his or her student intrinsically motivated. The ways to do this are by firstly being a motivated teacher, creating a comfortable classroom atmosphere, and by providing different methodological strategies. A motivated teacher. Self-motivation can be defined as the ability to do what needs to be done, without influence from people or situations. A motivated teacher is a key to a motivated classroom, because motivation helps to excite, manage, and sustain positive behavior in the classroom. It also helps to steer creativity and interest, igniting the desire needed for students to learn more. So how can teachers be self-motivated? Have a positive mindset, always remember why you became a teacher, be confident in the classroom, know that setbacks will most likely occur, and don't be afraid of making mistakes. A comfortable classroom atmosphere. A comfortable classroom atmosphere is necessary for students to learn and develop. It also increases academic achievements and leads to increased self-esteem. Teachers can create this by building a good rapport with students. Having activities to break the ice are very important at the beginning of the course. It's also important that the teacher takes time to know the names of each student in the classroom. Always smile, speak nicely, try having a good sense of humor, be approachable and supportive, encourage students to help each other in class, correct students nicely and not too often. Finally, take into account the class period when students are often tired during lesson planning. For example, something not too stressful and fun for last class periods. This is also important for business students. Different methodological strategies. It is not the job of a teacher to entertain students, but it's important that they are involved in the learning process. Selecting a method that addresses the needs of different students at different learning levels begins with a personal check, that is a self-evaluation of the teacher's strengths and weaknesses. As they develop their teaching methods and integrate them with effective classroom management skills, teachers will learn what works best for their personalities and curriculum. Be it that you're an inexperienced teacher ready to put to work all of the techniques you've learned, or a well-experienced teacher examining differentiated instruction and new learning methodologies, consider that not every student will respond well to one particular teaching method, that's why it's necessary to use different methodologies and techniques when teaching. For example, the Engage Study Activate lesson can get boring when using the straight arrow technique often. So we need to learn to combine all modes of this to create a better classroom. Do you want to teach English abroad? Take a TEFL course today. Students deserve to be motivated, they shouldn't be attending classes every day with a sad and gloomy face, their parents paying fees and the students not getting anything in return. They deserve a better classroom. The methods outlined above seek to make students more motivated, and the classroom a better place. Thanks so much for watching. We are ITTT, the leading provider for TEFL and TESOL training courses. If you like this video, please subscribe by clicking that button down here and click on any of the videos here on the left for more interesting teaching tips for getting certified to teach English abroad and online.